namo tassa bhagato arhato samma sambuddhassa homage to the blessed one the worthy one the supremely enlightened one sadhu 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 namo buddhaya meritorious sons and daughters today we are going to learn another very important thing to develop our wisdom when we learn the teachings of the supreme buddha we can develop our mind when we develop our mind we can develop our wisdom the development of the wisdom helps us to understand things as they really are we get to know what the good things are what the bad things are and the things that we should follow the things that we should not follow things lead to suffering and things leads to true happiness and these things so since the supreme buddha is the wisest teacher in this world the disciples of the blessed one also get an opportunity to be very wise so think about this excellent opportunity meritorious children Now we are going to learn a couple of discourses from the numerical discourses of the Supreme Buddha, Anguttara Nikaya. One day Supreme Buddha taught these beautiful suttas to the bhikkhus, to the monks, saying, insignificant bhikkhus is the loss of relatives, the worst thing to lose. is wisdom isn't that statement very interesting what is the meaning of this supreme buddha explains insignificant because is the loss of relatives now meritorious children when people lose their relatives maybe they are parents brothers sisters and other relatives normally they tend to be very sad they cry lament and weep thinking that they have faced a great loss but in reality supreme the explains you don't need to think about that loss too much because such a loss is called an insignificant loss you are not going to lose lots of things due to that loss of relatives but there is another loss if one loses that surely one is going to lose many other things what is that loss it is the loss of wisdom supreme buddha teaches the worst thing to lose is wisdom now we know what the wisdom is if one doesn't know the teachings of the buddha if one doesn't know how to understand this life as it actually is 
that is a great loss that is the worst loss again supremud explains therefore because you should train yourselves thus we will increase in wisdom it is in such a way that you should train yourselves so in the future we will lose our parents our loved ones and family members but if we don't lose wisdom if we continue to learn these excellent teachings of the supreme buddha we are going to gain many happy results again supreme buddha explains a very important thing insignificant because is the loss of wealth the worst thing to lose is wisdom now it is very obvious that when people lose their wealth when thieves break into houses and steal their belongings people cry a lot they completely give up their hopes and they think that now there is no point of living their whole lives are depend on their wealth that's why when they lose their wealth uh, maybe due to floods fire or any other disasters thieves take away with them and like that or natural due to natural disasters such as earthquakes tsunami and other disasters they get very upset and sometimes they even lose their mindfulness they go mad but supreme buddha explains that loss of wealth is very insignificant it's a very small thing you don't need to sacrifice your whole life on that loss because the worst thing to lose is wisdom not the uh, loss of houses vehicles and other material things if one loses wisdom that means if one doesn't learn the teachings of the buddha and doesn't know how to understand things properly the wholesome qualities the unwholesome qualities the meritorious deeds demeritorious deeds about good words about bad words about good friends and about bad friends if one does not understand these things very clearly that is the great loss now we can understand why supreme the thought like this because meritorious children if one loses this ordinary thing that lo- loss affects only for this life but if one loses wisdom that means one doesn't know how to collect merits one doesn't know about good words and bad words that loss is going to give unhappy results not only for this life but also for future lives if one doesn't have wisdom there is a possibility that one is going to be born in a bad world that's why supreme buddha has praised this wisdom again and again further supreme buddha explains insignificant because is the loss of fame the worst thing to lose is wisdom 
Now, what's the meaning of fame? Meritorious children, sometimes people get praises from others. They are respected by others. They become very famous and popular. But in some other times, people don't respect them. They lose their fame. They are not famous anymore. So some people can't bear this. They commit suicide because they think they have undergone a great loss that nobody respects them. Nobody likes to associate with them. But Supreme Mother explains, that loss of fame is insignificant. It doesn't do such a bad thing to one's life. But the worst thing to lose is wisdom. Again, Supreme Mother explains, one should not miss this opportunity to develop their lives to understand the true nature of this world. So, Supreme Buddha encourages the Blessed One's disciples. Therefore, because you should train yourselves thus, we will increase in wisdom. We will develop our wisdom. So, meritorious children, since we didn't get an opportunity to learn the teachings of the Supreme Buddha, we have cried a lot in our previous lives. When we underwent the loss of wealth, the loss of relatives and the loss of fame, we have cried a lot. And Supreme Buddha explains, the stream of tears that we shed in our previous lives is greater than the water in the four great oceans. This is how we suffered in this sansara. Now we know the reason, because we thought these insignificant things are very important. That's how we are misunderstood. But now, in this life, we don't need to cry on insignificant things. We don't need to get disappointed and discouraged when we lose insignificant things. Still, we can bear them, we can face these situations if we are very strong with this gaining of wisdom. So, if you can use your rare human life from these early stages to learn the teachings of the Supreme Buddha, you will be able to develop your wisdom to a greater extent. Your developed wisdom will guarantee true happiness. You will be able to live very happily in this life. And most importantly, after death, you will have a happy rebirth. That's how wisdom helps us. So I bless all of you. May these meritorious sons and daughters have a great opportunity to develop wisdom in order to experience true happiness in this Gautama Buddha's dispensation. Sadhu, 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 Namo Buddhaya. Thank you.